Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to evaluate Arista Networks, which helps enterprises build out their AI data centers using Ethernets and other cables to help facilitate the growth of the upgrade cycle for data centers now that artificial intelligence has made that all but a requirement for companies worldwide. I'll look at the company's latest quarterly results. I'll compare it to its longer term financial performance on revenue, on profit margin, on cash flow. I'll also evaluate the next five years, what Wall Street expects from this company in that time frame. I'll highlight my major concern with Arista Network stock, my major risk factor that I'm concerned about. And finally, I'll look at the valuation and then I'll answer if I think the stock is a buy, hold, or a sell. So let's start with the latest quarterly financial performance. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so management saying that revenue came in at $1.571 billion, which was an increase of 2% from the previous quarter, but that was up 16.3% from the same quarter the prior year. Additionally, the profit on the bottom line jumped to $637 million. That was up from $436 million in the same quarter the prior year. So solid increases in both revenue and profit on the bottom line for Arista Networks. And the CFO saying we are pleased with our performance this quarter, which exceeded expectations across several financial metrics. So the management team were expecting certain results for the first quarter and things turned out much better than they were expecting, which is not surprising. This is what we've heard from many of the companies that are serving the AI market, serving this expansion in data centers, in AI factories, as Dell is starting to call it. Businesses are building out these AI factories and companies like Arista Networks, which help with the networking of those AI data centers, right? It's not just GPUs. You've got to connect everything together. And one of the things you need to connect is Arista Networks cords and Ethernets and those uh, products that connects everything together. So that's where it's benefiting from that tailwind. And that's just getting started. According to some analysts, there is going to be $1 trillion worth of upgrades to our existing data infrastructure or data center infrastructure. And it's just in the early innings of that upgrade cycle. So Arista Networks is going to benefit from that tailwind longer term. Management also saying they completed their repurchase of $2 billion of their own stock and they authorized another $1.2 billion. So I always like to see companies buying back their own shares. That's a sign that they feel that their shares are undervalued. And I like to see them doing this. It makes me feel that management looks around, sees what their prospects are, and realizes that at the current share price, the stock is undervalued and they use their capital to buy back those shares. So for the new era of AI, Arista is delivering both optimal networking for AI platforms and AI for networking outcomes. Its AI Ethernet platforms deliver high performance, low latency, fully scheduled lossless networking as the new unit of currency for AI networks. So it's right in the middle of this expansion of the AI de data center and it's starting to reap the benefits of its position. Now, looking forward for the second quarter, management expects things to get better. Revenue of 1.62 billion at the bottom for the next quarter with non-GAAP operating profit margin of 44%, very healthy operating profit margin indeed. Double checking its profitability with the cash flow to make sure that cash flow is also increasing along with profit. You notice cash flow from operations jumped to 513.8 million in the three months ended March 31st, and that was up from 374 million for the same quarter the prior year. So the company not just increasing revenue, not just increasing profitability, but also increasing cash flow from operations good signs to be sure. Arista Network stock price has benefited already from this enthusiasm for AI stocks. It's trading at nearly record highs at $297 per share. That recent dip you see there in the stock price, I think is related to that major risk that I was concerned about. I'll talk a little bit more about that risk towards the end of the video. But besides that risk, 
investors have been jumping into this stock enthusiastically. The price is up to three, close to $300 per share, up from around $100 per share in early to mid-2022. Now, longer term, it's done a great job boosting revenue up to $6.08 billion in a trailing 12-month period. That was up from less than $1 billion in 2015. Phenomenal revenue growth over the years has helped the company increase its operating profit margin, which has jumped up to 40% in the most recent trailing 12-month period, record high for the company, and it's demonstrating economies of scale as it increased the operating profit margin from a little over 18% in 2015. Looking ahead, the analysts on Wall Street that are following Arista Network stock expect it to increase its earnings per share by 19.4% over the next five years. That's a decrease from the 33% earnings per share growth the company experienced in the previous five years. So it could be that the Wall Street analysts are expecting a slowdown in Arista Network's earnings per share growth over the next five years as the bulk of the growth has already been experienced. I think the analysts on Wall Street are underestimating Arista Network's EPS growth, given its history of improvement. If I had to take the over or under on this forecast, I would take the over in expecting higher than 19.4% EPS growth for Arista Networks. Looking at its cash flow from operations to sales, it has also increased nicely along with its operating profit margin up to 35.74% in the most recent trailing 12-month period. Now, if we weigh this all against its valuation, Arista Networks is trading at near the highest valuation at a forward PE of 33. That's about the highest it's been going back the last three years, according to this valuation metric. Of course, it deserves somewhat of a premium valuation today versus three years ago, because of the significant increase in spending on expanding the data infrastructure, the AI infrastructure, as announced by nearly every company I've covered. If you've watched my channel, I highlighted that Amazon, Google, uh, Meta Platforms, and others have all signaled that they're going to increase their spending on data on the AI development in their infrastructure by billions and billions of dollars in their cloud infrastructure. And so that's all going to increase spending industry-wide, which is going to be good news for Arista Networks. Still, I'm a little bit cautious with the stock because of that risk I've been talking about all video. NVIDIA highlighted it's launching competing products to what Arista Networks is offering. And NVIDIA recently unveiled that news, I want to say a couple of weeks ago. And that's why the stock price has taken a dip. And that's why you're seeing this slightly lower valuation compared to a week or two ago. So that's my concern right now is NVIDIA's position and their negotiating power with their customers. NVIDIA could tell their customers if they're offering competing Ethernet and competing networking technology, they could tell their customers because there's a long waiting list for its GPUs. They could tell the customers, look, if you want access to our GPUs, you got to buy our networking cables as well. And so that could be a strong competitive force. Although for now, I think there's such strong demand industry wide that it's not in the near term, it's not going to be devastating for Arista networks, but longer term, I'm a little bit cautious about that. So. That's my main concern with Arista Networks. Otherwise, all the other things we looked at so far looked extremely bullish for Arista Networks longer term. So to answer the question, do I think Arista Networks stock is a buy, hold, or a sell? I would, I'm would. i placing a cautious buy recommendation on it, a cautious buy, and placing it as a borderline buy. Not a full-on buy, but a borderline buy at current valuations. And the downsides are the... Super premium valuation right now is at record highs and the risks from NVIDIA. Other than that, the other factors look strongly in its favor. So I'll keep you posted on Arista Network stock, one of the more interesting companies in the markets today. Before I let you go, let me tell you about the greatest deal on YouTube. With just a click of a button, you can get free financial analysis from a professor with decades of investing experience. 
So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.